told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Hey folks, JR with Focus on Asia See behind me, we're in the mountains We're headed to Baguio so Come along with us Let's go to Baguio, hit our first uh, snafu, which is this, uh, we don't know why we're not moving, assume they're doing some maintenance for the fallen rocks or something like that here up ahead, but we've been sitting here for about 5-10 minutes, not moving, so this is what you get on the uh, Small lanes road up to Baguio.
this is the uh, reason for the delay. They got a temporary bridge going. And uh, tons of road work for this one bridge going on. A nice little side route. And we're out. You see all the traffic ahead. They're all waiting across. We made it to our hotel. Got this balcony. See the view back here. Got the clouds. Let's show you this room. So, little table and a couple chairs. Little table in here. Got a uh, small desk. We got a Chang Hong TV. Top of the line. Got a pretty good sized bed, I would say queen. Got another little table. Got a good sized wardrobe. And then you got a bathroom. I guess that is the light. So sink, your toilet, and a decent shower with a heater. So not bad. I will put the price in the text in this part of the video. I think it was less than 35 bucks a night is what it came out to, which was a real good price for up here. Uh, most of the places are like 70, 80 bucks. So this one is uh, about one kilometer from Burnham Park. If you're familiar with Burnham Park, that's kind of like one of the places to go. And uh, you see it in, in this video. And that took us about about 15 minutes walk from here. A um, little hilly up and then back down. But it was a pretty cool walk and the temperature is perfect. Um, so out here, man, this kind of reminds me of, uh, we've been to Ecuador, Quito, Ecuador. It's kind of got that feel to it. Mountains, a lot of clouds, and a constant cool temperature. I think keto ranges are like right around 70, 72 degrees. I don't think it's that cold right now here. It's probably high 70s, maybe low 80, like 80, 81. 
Uh, but real nice. I was sweating while I was walking. But I seen people with jackets and stuff on. So I'm sure tonight, once it drops in the 70s, you see a lot more people. So just wanted to show you the hotel. across from the uh, Rizal Monument, which is also the entrance to Burnham Park. So let's go uh, walk through here. I won't do much talking. I don't know crap about it. We'll let the uh, sights and sounds speak for themselves. Yeah, it's just a uh, monument to Daniel Burnham, who is an American architect that pretty much designed the majority of the stuff up here in Baguio, especially when it was a, uh, he had the former military resort up here, Camp John Hay and whatnot. Miss Cecilia's doing selfies, so I'm just waiting, waiting on her. Selfie, selfie time. All right, we're back on, but no picking of flowers. 5,000 peso fine. That means you. I know you're gonna come here and try to pick the flowers. Don't do it. So, like I mentioned, I know nothing about it. It's my first time up in Baguio, believe it or not. Coming to the Philippines for the past 30 years. Never been up here in the mountains area of Baguio. It's pretty cool so far. A lot of pine trees. Uh, temperature. The sun is out. And uh, you can feel the sun, but... There's also a very nice breeze and the uh, temperature, if I had to guess, is like maybe 80. A couple degrees higher, maybe. No more than like 82, 83, I, I would suspect. I get a nice uh, fountain over here. Blasting off. It is a Tuesday and the place is packed so I can only imagine on what it looks like on the weekends. So you got everybody uh, riding their bicycles in this area. Little chopper. So we're gonna cross over here without getting run over. Assuming a lot of these people, it's their first time riding a bike on some of them. So use caution. <laughs> this is where you can get the little swan boats and paddle boats
go down here even though I'm not a paying customer get you guys a bird's eye view of, of the little pond and all the boats pretty cool you can see the uh, SM mall in the background kind of over towers the park which is kind of a shame but you gotta have your SM mall all right we're back on had to take a little break do some photos selfies Got a little pigeon house over here. Some nice flowers. Sure a lot of the flowers up here can't grow elsewhere due to the uh, temperature. I said it's a Tuesday. There's a uh, quite a lot of people here. I'm going at a slow pace because Mississippi is uh, selfieing as we go, so I don't want to lose her. Actually, she'd be losing me because she's got the cell phone with the uh, GPS to get us back to the hotel. Looks like people are enjoying the, uh, the water today. A lot of people renting the boats. You see some of the bigger hotels, Holiday Inn in the background up there. And it's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like uh, England the style of the plants the garden and We didn't have that much of a, on our agenda up here, other than walking through this park, maybe Mines View. We'll see what we can get up to. Weather's supposed to be uh, horrible here coming up. All right. Supposed to have uh, afternoon thunderstorms and rain today and tomorrow, but that's all right. We'll make the best of it. We mainly came up here just for the drive and experience the temperature change, which is uh, is a pretty good drop. Like I mentioned, there's a really nice breeze going on right now. flowers again we'll walk up here check out the other side of the car and bicycle rental area all the kids just give you a glimpse of we got 
ice cream. Got some snacks over here. Whenever you hear the bell, that's ice cream. When you hear the, the horn, that's usually like uh, Tahoe. It's a real nice tree. Got some brighter, almost red, pinkish in with the purple. So I think I mentioned it already, this is Burnham Park, in case I forgot. And it's busy. You can really smell the flowers which is uh, kind of unusual for here. Usually the humidity kind of, I think, knocks that down in most areas. But with the breeze and all the flowers in this garden, you can uh, actually smell it, along with this cotton candy right here. Got the cotton candy machine spinning around. Hello. Hello. Just takes a video of your nice okay, cotton candy machine. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. You, Family's having the race. Racing it up. Ice cream again. Somebody's enjoying? Good. <laughs> oh. I don't know who's in the lead right now. I would narrate it if I knew. There's car 22 passing on the outside. Here car comes car number 8. I think he's had a few beers. Car 89 is cruising like a low rider. Got your snacks. More snacks, more ice cream. Here's your sign, one of your signs. We'll head back down this side and go actually back in the park. Yeah, every single one of these little green huts over here is a bike rental place. It's like not food stalls or anything like that, it's all like bike rentals. Here's a nice uh, picture of some tribal. I don't know what that horn signifies. Maybe noon. I have no idea what time it is. We're back on. The 12 o'clock horn is done. Uh, so uh, I think I was talking about the drive up here. Uh, only hit really traffic and once you get up in the mountain road it's kind of you know one lane each side so it's to be expected. And then they were doing the bridge work so it's supposedly it's like a two, two, two hour 40 minute around there. Uh, we stopped once 
at McDonald's and got a breakfast sandwich and uh, we got up here in right about three hours so not too bad and the road was a lot less than I expected as far as uh, I've heard horror stories driving up on the mountain road how dangerous it is and uh, it wasn't that bad it gets listed as like one of the most dangerous roads in the world I didn't I didn't see that um, there has been improvements put up though like cement kind of uh, guardrails on the side of where it drops off so that's been an improvement they've done over the years I guess so I'm sure it was a lot scarier and then you also have to be cognizant of uh, it being rainy season not to come up drive up while it's raining because uh, there's a lot of rocks and debris that come off the side of the, the mountain it's basically like a drop off right to the road and it, it'll uh, the road will be at an impasse at times got yeah, a nice little viewing area over here some native dress cool little viewing point So, can anybody guess what we're eating? This wasn't planned, but unfortunately, one o'clock and the rain started coming down. So, closest place was Mr. Jollibee. Two chicken sandwiches, large Coke, small Coke, large fry, small fry, three mango pies, just a little over 500 pesos. So. About 10 bucks. <laughs> Mr. Say is not happy, she's hungry. Alright, kill the video here. Appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.